Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter if you're watching this on the actual upload date. Um, and happy Sunday at Tiffany's. I just got done making a balloon arch for Easter we are hosting. Um, so today I am uploading a Get It All Done marathon, which is a couple of my older Get It All Done videos grouped together to make one extremely long video that you can put on in the background while you're cleaning or cooking or doing whatever you're doing. Um, and hopes to give you some motivation to get it all done. Anyway, let's get into this. Happy Easter. I hope that you all enjoy this and thank you all so much for being here. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another get it all done video if you're new here my name is tiffany beeson and i upload every single tuesday and sunday i missed last sunday because we had just gotten back from arizona at 2 a.m so yeah we were struggling but the first thing i'm doing in today's video is just writing everything down that i need to get done i wanted to let you know that all of our planned chicly products are sold out um, so you can't get this anymore but we do still have a couple of the recipe books left and they are 40% off so I'll show you that right here but I just wanted to mention that to make sure that you get your hands on them since this is my last collab with them but anyway here is our list for the day I filmed this video on Sunday and I do try to you know do the whole self-care Sunday thing and just do things that I need to get done like I like to put on some self tanner I use this one on my face the other one I just use on my body and I'm also putting a conditioning treatment in my hair as well obviously self care is so much more than you know a conditioning treatment or that hair growth treatment that you just saw or sunless tanning it's about way more than physical things you know self care is whatever you want self care to be is doing whatever you need to do for yourself but it's definitely not always physical things as many of you know so today I'm just throwing a conditioning treatment in my hair throwing my hair up I'm not wearing makeup even though sometimes I feel like I have to wear makeup when I'm filming I'm not wearing makeup today how often do you guys wear makeup when I uh, was working as a nurse overnight I feel like I barely wore makeup at home because I was like so tired and just didn't even feel the need to however I feel like when you do your makeup sometimes it makes me feel more productive I don't know what about you guys so now we are headed downstairs and I decided to try out a new cleaner for our dining room table because it is real wood uh, I just feel like only using the thieves cleaner didn't feel like it was conditioning it enough so I found this recipe where it's one third cup of olive oil two capfuls of thieves cleaner, 20 drops of lemon, and then some warm water. And I have been loving it. The table looks so nice and shiny and clean, yet it's not greasy. It was just the perfect little concoction for the wood table. Also, you can see I'm like trying to film a reel for my essential oils page as I'm doing this, so please forgive me. Moving on to this fridge, you see there's not a ton of groceries, but there's definitely some things that we need to get rid of. I will be doing a Costco order and I'll show you the haul and all of that, but first we're going to clean out the fridge. I felt like this was the perfect time since this is like the least amount of groceries we ever have in our fridge. Usually stuff is pretty much falling out of my fridge on a daily basis since we have four kids. Um, so I'm definitely guilty of like neglecting my fridge as you can see here. I definitely need to be cleaning it more. How often do you guys clean your fridge? I don't even like have a method. I probably should just like kind of wipe it down every time I get groceries. Um, maybe I'll try to start doing that. But right now you can see it needed a whole lot of love. So I'm just showing you the before and I'm just going to take everything out wipe it down and then put back what we have and by the time that's done you'll see my costco order arrives Let's go. 
Now that everything is out, I'm just giving it a quick vacuum before I go ahead and wipe everything down. Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive How much you're messing With my feelings and my heart to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings and my heart oh yeah yeah that's impressive how much Okay, I had scrubbed that fridge like crazy. I even used a little plastic razor on it. I scrubbed it so hard that it even broke a nail. So uh, you'll see halfway through this video, I changed my nails. I just like put a quick little uh, like bright spring color polish on them because otherwise they just looked horrendous from having the dip powder on them. But anyway, yeah, I love this little uh, turntable. You can grab these on Amazon. I actually got this one on, from TJ Maxx. Um, but it's just perfect for our supplements that need to be refrigerated. So now we're just putting everything away. You guys have got me on this Kerrygold butter. Um, a lot of people told me that that's what I should be using and it is super good. Chopin. 
Okay, so I grabbed these months ago, I think from TJ Maxx. I'm finally putting them in um, my fridge in those drawers, and I really like how it came out. And it makes me feel better about if I'm just like going to throw like a pepper in there or like a thing of lettuce without being in anything. So I definitely recommend these. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best. So when we got back from Arizona, we just grabbed a couple containers of produce because we like to give our kids lots of fruit. Um, so that's what I'm cutting up now, but you'll see that I get a lot more uh, produce and everything else once my Costco haul comes. But, you know, having four kids that eat, we will go through this in this amount here, probably in just like one sitting at breakfast. Is it just me or are raspberries the actual worst? Like, they're always just so mushy, but I always get them because Tanner and Everly absolutely love raspberries. Um, I'm also putting some blackberries in here. It's just so hard to keep them good, though. Like, I feel like when I get them, they're already mushy. All right, so how nice does this look, but how unrealistic? Wait till you see what it actually looks like once our order comes in. The freezer is truly like my arch nemesis. These are like, uh, what are they, chicken nugget crumbs. But we just use so much frozen fruit for smoothies. In the past, I've tried to like put them in Tupperware, but that honestly just was too time consuming and just didn't work out for me. Um, so I just have them in the bags and it's just hard to keep the fridge or the freezer organized. But at least now I have a better method. So on the bottom, I have all of our frozen fruit and on, on the right side and then on the left side, I have our frozen vegetables up top in this shelf here. I'm going to have our bread because uh, we use a lot of the gluten-free bread and you want to freeze that otherwise it goes bad really quickly. Um, and some waffles. Also, I just decided to throw this in because I don't know if you guys watch our family channel, but for those of you who do, everyone's always asking us how we make wings because my kids are obsessed with chicken wings. Um, I just put a ton of the Flavor God ranch seasoning on it, salt and pepper, and throw it in the air fryer on air crisp. I think it's like 390 degrees for about 20 minutes or so until they're nice and crispy. It's just very easy, but I was just throwing those in for the kids for lunch, so I wanted to show you that since I was doing it anyway. All right, so Costco is here. 
and just in case you're wondering yes I felt very overwhelmed once all the food was here because you know it's a lot to put away um, but we're blessed to have it all I also had to show you of course you know you can't do those bulk orders without getting like you know toilet paper and paper towels so we did get that as well as some coconut water and I'm starting off with showing you just like the frozen fruits and veggies that we got I know a quick little tip that I got for smoothies um, from Jessica is adding cauliflower to smoothies. It doesn't really have a taste and it's an easy way to get vegetables in your kids. We always get these frozen pizzas from there because you know every mom deserves a frozen pizza night. Got some rotisserie chicken and these meatballs are so good. I make these with cauliflower rice and li liquid aminos. The cod, uh, I haven't tried yet, but that's on the menu this week. Ground turkey because our kids basically live off of tacos and then some chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are personally not my favorite. They're great in crock pot meals and soups and things like that, but Chris and the kids love them, so I buy them for them. And I also got some milk and some more Kerrygold. <laughs> I also got some orange juice and some more cooking spray. Um, Carter loves these little fresh mozzarella snacking cheese. Um, they're good for lunches. Celery sticks, some carrots because we are back on E2M now that we're home. Kiwi. Uh, we also got some baby spinach for smoothies. You can also just saute that in with any meal you're making. Some pineapple, oranges. Um, what else did we get here? These mangoes were a mess up, but they were really good. They're just like more sour than regular mangoes. I don't know if you ever tried them, but you might think we're crazy, but Chris and I swear that Costco has the best mangoes, so I was a little bit sad that they didn't give us the regular ones. And then just a bunch more produce and some sauces, and I had to get myself some flowers, got the kids some snacks, so I'll just let you see it with your own eyes instead of me telling you everything. I wanted to share this quick little tip with you though that these little avocado mash if you're trying to not use mayonnaise or anything like that they are great to make chicken salad with so that's what I'm doing with the rotisserie chicken and um, that avocado All right, it's time to put everything away. I didn't organize the pantry in any way. Um, I'm just kind of putting things away in the fridge and I just threw things in the pantry just because I had so much to do. So stay tuned for a pantry organization probably in my next Get It All Done video. You know I always like to prep produce because this is the best way that it doesn't go bad. If we don't prep it, things just go bad so much faster for us. So the kids will come and grab like peppers instead of chips or you know some fruit. So it's nice. Of course they love their chips and I still buy them chips and popcorn and all that kind of stuff. But I definitely notice they eat a lot more fruits and veggies when they're already prepped like this. I'm also just making some hard boiled eggs in my new little egg maker. 
I retired my old one and found this one. It's the same brand of um, my pans. It's called Green Earth. Um, it's just like supposed to be like non-toxic and all of that. And then here is everything nice and prepped. And I'm just going to continue to put the produce away. I also just want to let it be known that cleaning out the fridge and putting all the food away took a very long time because like when you're editing a video it's hilarious to see how short it looks but that did take a huge percentage of my day. Uh, making the beds was on my list but Chris informed me that he already did that which is amazing. Usually we do it right away in the morning but we were just like off of our game from getting back from Arizona. The time is different there. We didn't get home until 2 a.m. so Definitely just catching up. I'm switching the laundry, which was also on my grocery on my grocery list. Oh my gosh, on my get it all done list. And now I'm just going into my closet and unpacking. If I don't unpack like the day I get back or the next day, my suitcase will sit in my closet for way too long. While unpacking my suitcase, it felt good to know that Suno is going to need it again because Chris and I are going on a little three-day trip. This is our first time going on a trip without any of our children, including Everly. So I have frozen milk for her, even though she is like 16 months now. Um, fourth kid problem. Sorry, I forget how, exactly how many months she is. Um, I think that's right. Um, so yeah, she doesn't really need to nurse, but she still nurses a lot. Um, so I'm definitely nervous about leaving her, but excited to just like be one-on-one -on -one with Chris because we haven't had something like this in so long. So I'm anxious, yet excited, and definitely going to miss the kids, but we are going to Virginia and we are going to a Walker Hayes concert. We love Walker Hayes, so that is really exciting. It was his birthday gift back in November, so yeah. I also just found these little command hooks and I'm using it for my hat. This is the first hat that I really loved. I wore it like the whole time in Arizona. Usually I look like Freddy Krueger, but with this hat, I didn't feel like that. Finally, I'm just finishing up all of my cleaning. I'm just wiping down the counters. Chris did the dishes for me because he's amazing. Um, and I'm also gonna go ahead and scrub the sink. It's white, so it needs a lot of love. It's very high maintenance. Baby, I'm a true believer. 
Next, I'm just wiping down the mantle. Then I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the downstairs powder room as well as the uh, dining room table and just restock the downstairs bathroom. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to grab your recipe book. I told Chris that I was so proud of myself and he said, why did you get everything done? And I said, I'm proud of myself for not feeling the need to get everything done and for saving some stuff for tomorrow. Now that I went through everything and checked off of Carter's back to school supply list, I'm just kind of organizing things, putting them into a little bag for what he needs for both his regular class and his art class. And I also just, you can see the glimpse of the cork boards and all of the beautiful crafts. I'm also going to be clearing that off a little bit later in the video just to get ready for some new crafts for the new school year. Carter is starting first grade like I mentioned, Tanner and Ella will both be in preschool this year three days a week. You can do better. I pray you to be wilder. I don't fit into your parts. Beauty queens with final flaws. So everything is all organized and ready for back to school. I will be labeling some things. I wanted to show you though. I cleared out these two drawers. They just had like memory books and stuff in there that I added to their keepsake bins in the basement. This is just like a little, what they call a homework helper. You can put stuff inside of it. It has like the little pillow on the bottom. So I'm just making Carter a little homework station with some pencils, glue, scissors, and erasers. And then I was going to initially add crowns. You saw those little um, organizers here. I'm putting a couple organizers in here and I was going to add crowns to them. But then I was like, I'm just gonna organize what we already have for the crowns since it's working. And that may seem really extra to organize crowns by color, but Carter is just like me. He likes things to be like nice and organized so that he can concentrate on his work. So it literally took barely five minutes to organize all the crowns and you know, they could get messy again, but Carter usually does a pretty good job of keeping them in order. So I just wound up adding extra pencils, erasers to here so if they need them for school they can just grab out of here our extra folders and notebooks. So it's basically like a little overstock. And then here's the crowns that I was talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and organize them and you know it just makes life easier. Let me know if you can relate to this at all. It might just be me but 
sometimes when my mom had off from work and I got home from school, she would have the house completely clean or she'd have my toys organized and it made me feel refreshed when, when I came home and maybe that's why I am the way that I am. But it also made me like want to play with my toys. So like when I have all these crowns organized, I notice that the kids want to color more. It's just the way that some people work. I don't know if you can relate or if your kids are like that, but something simple. Did you ever hear that quote that pertains to broken crowns still color, which you can apply to many things in life? Well, we save our broken crowns and we melt them down into molds to make new crowns. This, I don't know if you remember this from the old house, was a little file keeper and I decided to put it on the back of the um, little craft closet door so that I can keep their stuff in because there's lots of school calendars and you know just little things that they each get from school each year so that they can all have their own little spot and then now I'm just going to cut out um, Carter's name to place on his things. So I put his name on his, this is like his art portfolio that he needed for art class and his pencil case. I did wind up putting a little bit of lemon essential oil on the pencil case because it really gets off like any stuck on residue. It's just a nice little tip for you. Um, it's kind of like just the kind of stuff that gets all the goo off, but it's just lemon essential oil. So I use that for this. So this is my first year where Carter actually needs like a ton of supplies for school. Usually like you just show up for school for what I'm used to. Like we would have to bring in wipes sometimes or things like that. But this time he has Clorox wipes, he has um, tissues and all kinds of supplies for school. And I'm just wondering like how is one supposed to bring all of these to school? I don't know. I haven't heard from the teachers yet or anything. He starts next week and I still don't know who his teacher is. But supposedly we're going to find that information out soon. I know that a lot of schools are still trying to figure things out, which is understandable, but I think I'm more nervous than he is. I would never let him know that though because I want him to be calm and confident when starting school. And then I just downloaded these for the teachers. They're just little printables. I'm gonna put little gift cards in here for coffee. So I just went ahead and clipped them on that little file folder that I was talking about since I don't know their teacher's names yet. I can't fill them out yet, but they're all ready to go, which is such a relief. Now I just need to grab them some gift cards. And I know I'm going to love this file thing. One, because it's like closed and out of the way, but I just realized that I never do well with a giant command station. I feel like it feels overwhelming at times, so I kind of like this setup. I have my calendar in the kitchen on the wall, my little acrylic calendar, and then I have that over there. But now I wanted to share, which I have shared this in the past as well, one of our really easy go-to crock pot meals because this is truly a dump and go meal. So if you're busy in the morning and have a busy evening with school and you just wanna throw something in the crock pot to be ready for dinner, you just throw in some chicken breast. I'm doing salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, and then I'm just gonna to top it with a little bit of ranch seasoning packet, some um, green beans and potatoes. It's literally that easy. Everybody always asks if you add liquid to it because it doesn't seem like it should cook. Like It's like there's no liquid in here. How is it going to cook properly? But it cooks perfectly. There's no liquid needed. So you are going to put that on high for four hours or low for eight hours. comes out perfect every time. Um, the reason that I add it like salt, pepper, 
garlic and a little bit of butter on top this time it's just to like elevate it a little bit more um, give it a little bit more flavor but in the past I have used just an entire ranch packet so you can do that as well kept it up right till the morning a new kind of ecstasy so now I'm headed upstairs and I'm just decluttering all of the kids clothes I can't even believe that I wound up getting three full garbage bags of clothes from all of them I had been like saving their winter stuff in the closet just to see what would fit them for this season and they've truly grown so much that not a lot fits them so I don't mind um, donating all of these clothes a lot of people are like well can't Carter give Tanner his um, hand-me-downs and can't Ella give Everly her hand-me-downs and the truth is I like getting them a lot of matching outfits and they don't match all the time because now they pick out their own outfits at this age Carter and Tanner um, I just Ella picks out her own outfits too who am I kidding um, but yeah I, I like to get the new clothes for the school year I always got hand-me-downs and that's perfectly fine too but I guess since I have two boys and two girls they do wind up matching a lot and yeah so that's why and I, I will say like a lot of clothes unfortunately um, I have to get rid of because of the stains on them and my kids just like really stain things up but yeah three bags of clothes to donate so I was happy with that I definitely recommend doing this before going school shopping because you can kind of just see what you need um, if I would have done this blindly I would have gotten them a lot more pants and a lot more shirts than they need it but now I realize they just need more sweaters and long sleeve stuff and more sweatpants they're good on jeans now the boys room is done I also went ahead and just decluttered and organized their pajamas too but I didn't film it they do need a couple more pajamas because there's definitely pajamas that we can get rid of that they're attached to but I feel like if they come and pick out pajamas with me they'll be okay with getting rid of some of them um, but yeah, the summer's just getting a little bit too small on them. Where do you guys shop for your kids' pajamas and your clothes? I'm always looking for new places. But now we're in Ella's room, and there's a couple things in here that are, like, brand new that she's barely ever worn. So I'm just moving them to the front of the closet for, to be foreverly because they're already too small on her. So I do save some things, like especially new stuff. Um, but I'm actually, I have an appointment for somebody to come and look at our closets this week. I'm excited because I really want to have you guys have seen me show this before but I want to have the closets kind of like split in half so like one side is for Tanner one side is for Carter and the next closet one side is for Ella one side is for Everly with like a couple drawers in the middle I think that'll be perfect for these closets so I will definitely keep you updated on that process you found a different side of me the one I'd like to be a different side of me yeah so I never really understood this before coming, becoming a girl mom, but uh, the accessories are real. The bows, are, there's so many bows and headbands and she truly does wear all of them. Bracelets, all of it. So I'm just going ahead and organizing all of that because this will make it easier for school mornings. Also kind of just see all what you have, but you're gonna see me organize her bows. And the point of that is that in the mornings, it truly does save time and just make it easier especially like when you're doing pigtails with matching bows, so it's not all unnecessary, it all works out.
Everly like still wears soft headbands here and there. It's so funny though because Ella always had a headband in her hair because she was my first girl. And then with Everly, I'm like, ah, it's fine. She can wear a bow for like a picture and then we'll take it off. So hopefully she lets me put bows in her hair when she's older. I'm sure she will because she's going to want to be, you know, doing whatever her big sister does. But once Evie gets some hair, they will be sharing these bows. Now that her bows and accessories are all organized, I'm just going to go through and declutter her drawers. There's a lot of stuff that she either will not wear, which I can relate to when I was a little girl. There are certain things I said were itchy and uncomfortable. My mom can vouch for that. So if she's never going to let me put them on her, I'm going to donate them. So that's what I wound up doing with a lot of this stuff in here. And there are some things that just she got for gifts that were way too big on her, way too small, and just needed some good decluttering in here. I'll be stuck in my head Think I need to escape Feels like I'm waiting Do you feel the same? So this is everything I got rid of for her. And then I did also declutter Everly's drawers. I didn't record that um, just because I was in a rush um, because it was getting to be late and I had to get the kids ready for bed. But I usually make my bed first thing in the morning, but I had to take the girls to their checkup this morning. So I am making it. It's around 6.15 at night and I'm just now making my bed because even if I'm going to sleep, I still like getting into a freshly made bed. I don't know if you can relate to that, but I do. Back downstairs, I'm kind of just catching up on my chores from the day. I'm unloading the dishwasher. Again, we had a busy morning. Um, so I'm just unloading the dishwasher and then I'm gonna check on dinner and all of that.
All right, dishwasher is unloaded. Dinner is delicious. After that, um, after dinner, after getting the kids done and everything, I'm headed back into the office to take down all of that artwork on the cork boards just so that I don't upset the kids. I do save a lot of stuff in their keepsake boxes in the basement, um, but some stuff is just like, okay, you're, I know your teacher made this, so I'm just gonna throw it away. <laughs> back to the your teacher made it comment. Like if it doesn't have like the kids answering questions on it or something like that, I will just toss it because it's really hard to figure out what to keep and what to throw away. I know you guys can relate to this, but if I were to save every single thing that they did, I would not have a basement. So you have to kind of pick and choose what you want to keep throughout the years. Now I am cutting out their names to put on top of their cork boards and I said to Chris I was like why does this make me so happy but you guys know I always say that whenever I have like all four of their names together or all four of their outfits picked out together or all of their shoes together I just feel extra blessed in those moments but I just love how this all came out. And last but not least, I'm just steaming their first day of school outfits. And this was just a relief to have done because there's so many anxious feelings and excitement, all of that about starting school. I just love having everything prepared that I can have so that we can all be nice and calm and just enjoy. So I'm just steaming their outfits. How cute is this dress that I got? Ella has her initials on it and then the boys have their name on it. I feel like this is 100% the last year then I'm gonna be able to pick out Carter's for save school outfit. I mean, this might be the last outfit he lets me pick out for him for school in general, but I thought it was really, really cute. Um, I just love anything custom or monogrammed, but I have this one for Carter, and then I got the same one for Tanner, just their name and their pencil, and then their teachers can't forget their name on the first day. <laughs> So I really hope that this video just gave you some motivation to go ahead and get everything prepared for the new school year and all of it. Just any kind of motivation, I'm here for you. I'm trying to motivate myself by motivating you. It definitely works in that way. But thank you all so much for watching. Hey, 
everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting with just planning my actual day here. I'm going to write down what I need to get done on this specific day for this get it all done video. You guys know I love just a good sit down with a pen and a paper, getting everything out of my brain and onto the paper just helps me tremendously when I'm feeling anxious or overwhelmed and it just helps me like keep my ducks in a row. Every single day I feel like, wait, what am I forgetting? If I'm like ever sitting still or like having a moment of doing nothing, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I can just go and look on my paper and you know, just double check everything. I also like filling out our family calendar in the kitchen because Chris will be like, wait, so what are we doing this day? And I'll be like, uh, let me go get my planner because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so that is why I just like write it in a bunch of places. It helps me remember it, helps me keep my mind clear. And you know, just being sleep deprived and having four kids, it's really hard to like just keep track of everything. So of course I've already planned out July, but I'm just showing you how I set up my planner. So here I am in August and what I do is I highlight every single Tuesday and every single Sunday since those are my upload dates. And I just make them into a nice bright color and try to plan as far in advance as I can. So. Um, for example, I'm doing a basement organization video soon, so I have enough time to go ahead and get the products I need for it and kind of plan each video out. Since I am such a planner, I do like to plan my videos in advance when I can. It just like helps like figure out if the kids are at camp or at home or if I'll have time to edit, like that type of thing. I definitely need to be ahead of the game with that. The next thing I'll do after I'm done planning my videos is look up in my phone calendar like any events that I save to there, um, like haircut appointments, doctor's appointments, any trips or anything like that and I'll write them down and then I'll go ahead and look at the kids school calendars and write that stuff down and that's kind of just like my base to planning um, and then you know as we get invited to parties or have our own things going on we add to it. And right now I'm filling out my calendar in the kitchen just so that Chris can be on the same page with me. Um, I'll write down all the school stuff on here as well as work stuff and trips as well. So now that we have all of our planning done, I feel like a weight lifted off of my shoulders because I just kind of know what's going on this month and what I need to do, what's expected of me. I also just had groceries delivered, so I'm getting ready to prep all of my ingredients for the week, um, some produce and all of that. So I just have my fruit and veggie soak in here and going to just soak them and, you know, do the daily cut up a million different things. Um, I get so many questions about like whether or not the produce goes bad so quickly, but honestly, having four kids, Evie eats tons of fruit and veggies too. Uh, it goes by really fast. Like since filming this video, I feel like two days later, we're really, really low on produce. I'm also going to roast up some vegetables to go with my lunches this week, and yeah.
This is such a random question, but as I am doing this voiceover, I'm looking at the butter lettuce in here. And whenever I have butter lettuce, it doesn't usually go bad because I love it. I just love the taste of it. And I just thought, is it weird that you have a favorite kind of lettuce? Chris cannot stand spring mix. I can eat it like mixed in. Um, I also really like arugula. I feel like that's one of those things like cilantro, like some people love arugula or some people hate it. I'm one of those people that love it. Chris is one of those people that hates it. Um, and romaine, I feel like it's just like really boring on its own. But for some reason, I just love butter lettuce. Also, here is your daily reminder to let your fruit soak. Do not just rinse it. I used to always just rinse it. And after like letting it soak and everything, I was just like, Ugh, I definitely need to keep soaking it. Look at all that stuff that came off of the produce. So today I'm roasting up some baby carrots, Brussels sprouts, and um, I'm doing a couple of little grape tomatoes as well as some yellow onion and it just mixed so well together and has so much flavor with literally just salt and pepper and we all loved it. So I'm just going to roast this on 425 for about 25 minutes. I'll check it, flip some stuff, and then leave it on just a couple minutes longer. It depends how much you want everything cooked. So back to my um, produce stories about like people always asking whether it stays good or not. I always, I, I don't love answering that question just because I do have so many kids. It'd be different like based on how many kids you have and if you're eating it or not. Um, but my tomatoes, they stay good for a very long time. The cucumbers are actually almost gone already. Um, and then you'll see even in the middle of this video, I was able to combine the blueberries and strawberries because my kids ate so many of them um, as they were out and I was doing stuff. <laughs> Also, you guys know a lot of times I'll pre-cut the strawberries and put them in. This time I was in a rush, so I didn't do that. And, um, you know, it really doesn't take too long to cut up strawberries in the morning. I feel like if you already have everything washed and ready to go, even that alone will make the process faster. So it's still very helpful. Now I'm cutting up some watermelon. I got two small watermelons and um, you know, I'm planning to cut it up and just have it for fruit for the week. But the main reason I got it is because I'm so excited to make like a watermelon juice. It's so good. You mix it with watermelon, cucumber, and some mint. It's actually one of my favorite martinis as well, but it's good on its own. It's just very refreshing and very hydrating. 
So next up I'm cutting up some mangoes because they were super ripe when they arrived. So um, I always just do like whatever fruit is going to go bad the fastest. I'll put that out more in like the morning when they're having breakfast for them to just pick at. Um, the mango that is cut up in this video is almost gone already. Um, so yeah, I think mango is probably one of my favorite fruits. Mango, banana. And watermelon I like berries but they're like my least favorite which I feel like most of the time is like the opposite like everybody loves strawberries and blueberries but I would prefer this first This pineapple, I'm actually using some of it for my recipe that I'm going to make in this video, which is just like a healthy teriyaki turkey meatball. Um, and then usually, like, we love pineapple too. I also like that more than strawberries and blueberries. Um, but this one was just, like, not very great. I, you know, I got grocery delivery, so I didn't pick this out. However, I still don't really know how to pick out a pineapple. I just pray it tastes good when I pick it out. So if you have any tips for that, you'll have to let me know. But I, I think like based on Everly's reactions that pineapples are her favorite. Now that everything is prepped and put away, I'm starting on some dinner. I am just making some taco bowls um, for myself and then I'm making just regular tacos for Chris and the kids and it was delicious. It's just so easy. You know my kids love tacos to the point that Ella is having a taco unicorn birthday party. Um, they're a staple in our house but now I'm making the teriyaki meatballs. So for the teriyaki sauce, you're gonna use a half cup of rice vinegar, a half cup of cooking sake, a half cup of coconut aminos, and one fourth cup of coconut sugar. This recipe is from Jessica Spires. However, I could never find cooking sake, so I just used um, a half cup of rice vinegar and then one cup of liquid aminos. And if you don't like, like liquid aminos, you can use um, just regular soy sauce, but I love the liquid aminos and I feel like it's way healthier too. Okay, so as the meatballs are simmering and the turkey is getting flavored with the seasoning, I'm just going to um, put out the taco shells. I, this is how I do it. You know, we have daddy tacos too, which Chris does it a completely different way. And the kids will say if they want mommy tacos or daddy tacos, which is hilarious. So I'm making a mess, but I'm also just putting the turkey into the tacos and I'm gonna put some cheese on top melt the cheese in the oven on like 200 degrees and this also just like lets the shell get nice and crispy and have more flavor to it um, and then I'll go ahead and add the lettuce and everything else afterwards but these are mommy tacos versus daddy tacos
So for my bowl, I'm just having some rice and black beans and turkey, lettuce, and this is really, you know, a lot of people think this is gross. Um, I used to think it was too until I tried it, but ketchup. Ketchup just makes it delicious. And the only reason that I'm using ketchup, which is what Chris and the kids love on their tacos, is because I didn't have a jar of open salsa. So I used that in its place and it was really, really good. So now that it grows to all out, I'm putting the meatballs into the container and I'm gonna add the juices on top and these will be um, lunch for us this week. The kids actually had it for dinner one night as well and they absolutely loved it. It is really late at night. I just got the kids down. Chris cleaned up the kitchen so that I was able to get my workout in. I promised myself that I would work out. So I'm only doing a 10 minute workout because I was exhausted and even this was just enough. My legs were still sore and shaking. I'm still very out of shape. I still don't have like any of my core muscles back. So my balance is just really off when working out. But if I could say one thing to anybody, it's that if you are struggling with working out, you're in the right place because everybody has to start somewhere. Um, you know, I feel like some people get discouraged from working out because they're like, oh, well, I am not in shape at all. But the only way to like get in shape and to get healthy, I should say, because it's all about being healthy, truly, is to start. You just have to start. Even filming these for my videos, sometimes I'm like embarrassed because I'm like falling over and my balance is off. But I'm like, this is real life. This is what it looks like postpartum trying to get your strength back. Everything kind of turned to jello when I was pregnant. Like your organs shift around and your core, no matter what you do, is just not great after having a baby. So yeah, if you're struggling with your workouts as well, even getting a 10 minute one in made me feel proud of myself. It made me feel like I did a workout and you know, I could have just went to bed, but I did it even though it's falling over and I'm just now starting, you know, from the beginning again, I have not been consistent with workouts. I do like one or two a week. My dream, my goal would be to get three workouts in a week but it's just been really hard lately. Um, but yeah, that that's my uh, tiff talk for the day. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this. So let's go. My 10 minute workout is in, I'm proud. Chris almost has the dishwasher loaded and the kitchen all clean. Now I'm just putting away, I had like a small load of clothes that was already folded. That was just like my clothes. Um, I've been separating out like mine and Chris's clothes from the kids clothes, it just makes it easier when folding. So putting away some clothes, hanging up whatever needs to be hung up. And then we are doing some self care. Again, it's late, I really do just wanna go to bed, but I don't wanna break promises to myself anymore because I'm important too and I'm just learning that like I want this workout I want the self-care I've been dying to um, color my eyebrows which is what I'm gonna be doing and been dying to try out this new gel nail kit that I got so not breaking these promises to myself tonight So first I have to take my regular nail polish off and then I'm going to try my gel kit for the first time which actually came out way nicer than I expected I'm definitely still learning. So first I'm taking off the nail polish and then you kind of have to like buff your nail so that the gel will stick to it. So I'm going to do that after I do like this little cuticle oil. It all came as like a big kit together. I'm not sure how long I'll last doing my nails myself. The thing is, is I truly don't enjoy getting my nails done. It just feels like a hassle to me, which I know sounds crazy, but you know, just trying to find a babysitter or if Chris is busy, you know, it just, I don't know, it's not my jam. I love a good pedicure. Um, however, like doing my nails, like if a nail chips, I want them done like right away. 
and now I can just do them myself so I like having that freedom. So to end this, I am just coloring my very blonde eyebrows. I've been doing it at home for a couple of times now and I really like it. Again, it's just hard sometimes finding the time to do this kind of stuff and when I do have free time, I'd rather just like walk around with a coffee at my favorite spot and yeah. But after this is done, it only takes about like five minutes to do both eyebrows. I will just go ahead and hop in the shower and finally get to bed. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a random productive day in the life. So kind of like a get it all done and a little bit of day in the life. So like if I get it all done in a day in the life, had a baby, that's what this video is. Just got Evie to sleep. Now it's time to fold and put away these clothes. is never done but that portion of the laundry is done for today with my load to put away um, but now I'm putting up these shelves I got from Ikea like a month ago for the boys room for their books um, but they're just like a plain black and they were very affordable they never say the pricing on their stuff but Chris put the drywall anchors in the wall for me and I'm gonna put these up and put some of their books up they're gonna be so happy also they want to get rid of their Batman beds now it was very short-lived they loved it for a, l a little bit and now they kind of miss the bunk bed situation and honestly i'm fine with them getting bunk beds again because their beds pretty much take up their entire room now because the car beds are just so huge so i'm going to put a picture on screen here of what they want but we told them we have to sell these first to be able to buy the bunk beds we won't be scared
that I just use on the kids beds you know I've been using this literally forever I think since Ella was a baby baby but it's just a linen spray and I like to use it when I know they're not laying down right away and it's pretty much like my version of Febreze for their beds. Their bathroom's really not that bad but they are always just like a hot mess with um, toothpaste so I'm gonna just wipe everything down and organize just slightly under the sink. You see it's literally not bad at all but it's what a just put some more like stuff under there um, that they need like more toilet paper and stuff and just set it up wipe all this down what are you doing you having fun <gasps> you're getting everything you're getting too big girly <laughs> okay back to our reg regular scheduled programming one and a half seconds and it just looks so much better. I'm really happy with the room just like a quick little cleaning I have been getting a lot of questions like when I'm gonna do like a full-blown cleaning video again and that is coming up soon I just have to have time to do the whole house at once because like literally I've been tackling little things here and there I haven't since we've moved done the entire house at one time yet uh, i kind of been doing room by room but i don't know do you guys do the entire house at one time or room by room every single day we do like a little surface clean that's just like either chris or i will do it that's just the type of people we are we're both very like clean and neat people um but yeah i want to do like an entire house deep clean video it'll probably take me like two days to film but let me know what do you think i should do that or should i do like a what i'm cleaning every single day i don't know i kind of really miss filming like my old pool house cleaning video. All right, you guys, so now, I've been talking about this on Instagram forever, but I'm getting microneedling done for the first time. It's like, supposed to help your face uh, produce collagen and just like help with wrinkles and aging, just make your skin really nice. I know you need like a couple of treatments, but yeah, this is my face before. It's probably gonna be very red after. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then um, once the kids get home from school, I'm gonna be making dinner. I have a really healthy muffin recipe that I'm excited to try because I think Tanner will love it too. And then I have to go through all of Carter's party supplies. I can't wait to have our first birthday party in the new house, um, but he's having a wild Kratz theme, which is like kind of really narrows it down. So I'm kind of doing like jungle slash wild Kratz theme. Um, but I've been ordering stuff and I don't even know what all I have. So we're going to go through that as well. And yeah, so I'll catch back up after this. I'm excited to be doing something for myself because it feels good to just, you know, care about myself. Something that I always don't do. I put myself last a lot, but I'm making it a priority to start doing things for myself. All right, you guys. So I just got home. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I just got home. I was taking, hi baby girl, Evie out of her car seat. 
and I'm like, something smells weird, and I look down, and we're both covered in poop, so. I mean, this is that stage. I feel like we're just dealing with a lot all the time. Also, um, the micro needling went really well. They numbed my face. I'll put like a little thing on the side here um, from my Instagram stories. They numbed my face, and it's basically like a bunch of, sorry, the dogs are playing. Basically like a bunch of little needles that puncture your skin and make your own body produce collagen to kind of help with like wrinkles and aging and all of that. So it's safe for breastfeeding, so that's why I did that. But anyway, it just feels good to consciously do something for myself. And that is something that I'm learning to do, is to do things for me because if I'm happy, if my cup is full, I can overflow and fill everyone else's cups and just be the mom and wife and sister and daughter that I wanna be. Anyway, that's my tip talk for today. Now I'm gonna be making some delicious dinner. We are making pecan crusted chicken. This looks amazing. I know a lot of people say pecan. I've always said pecan, so I can't change it. Don't mind Phineas and Ferb in the background, but I have two tablespoons of melted butter and a half cup of my gluten-free panko breadcrumbs, and then some pecans. Now I'm adding this fry seasoning. I'm adding half of it now. Now I'm just mixing the honey, mustard, and the mayo. doing the mixed greens, some lemon juice, olive oil, and salt and pepper. If Tanner's eating it, you know it's good, right? Be careful, sweetie. Don't choke. Oh, it's even making them floss? That's how you know. All right, now Miss Ella and I are making carrot oat muffins. So here's this right here. You can screenshot it. This is from my friend Jessica Spires. She comes up with the best, healthiest recipes. So. We're just gonna go ahead 
and preheat the oven to 375. We're gonna line our muffin tin. We're gonna blend the oats first to make it into like a powder and then add everything else. But I'm excited. You're gonna do it with me. Um, the only thing is I don't have cashew butter, so I'm using this because Tanner and Ella can't have peanut butter, so we're gonna try it with some sunflower butter. And what do you think about this? She actually lined all these up for us. You did a great job. You ready? They're carrot oat muffins with oh, raisins in it. Yeah. Does that sound yummy? Okay, let's make it. You're gonna do the cooking show all morning? Yeah. But it's nighttime. It's nighttime, Tanner. Yes, it is. No. It's 6.20. No, it is. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's the only thing we need to do, but I got a mash it all, and you want me all the time. You're gonna mash it up, and then you want them to watch you all the time? Yeah. Okay. Watch Keep out. On. Okay, guys, walk on to our pen. So, my doing the cooking show with me. Okay, that has this dish. So, what are you going to do it right now? Because you have that dress on, is why we're doing the cooking show. Okay. Okay, we can do it right now. But don't forget this panel. Let me get oh my gosh my face is getting increasingly red from the microneedling but um, Chris and I are gonna tackle the kitchen together really quickly it's not too bad um, and then I'm probably gonna go to bed let's get some sun baby it's time to go guys it is the next evening and I'm finally just going through all of Carter's birthday stuff to see what we have and then we're gonna end this video so I want to show you this list that I have available on my website for free I've had it there forever you probably didn't even know I had a website it's not like a very special website um, you know I really am actually looking for somebody to redo my website but anyway here's this also that was a shadow not pit sweat I swear so I made this a while ago um, just super simple but it helps me stay on track with birthday parties and then I'll look at this the day of as well. Number of adults, number of kids, decor, gifts, activities, menu, what I have for the goodie bags and things I still need to purchase.
All right, see, this is why I love doing this because it just like reminds me and keeps me on track. I definitely need some more balloons. I always like to have like a number balloon. So I want to get a six balloon and a couple more things for the goodie bags. And I like also to write down all the decor that we have because otherwise you wind up like forgetting and purchasing more. So that is it for this get it all done video. I hope that it motivated you. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another get it all done video if you're new here my name is tiffany beeson from beauty and the beasts and i upload every single tuesday and sunday now i just have to get something from the dollar store so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so now i'm at dollar tree i just am looking for like a couple of things one thing is a bag to customize with my cricut and then um keep all of our masks in the car which i never thought i'd be saying that but here we are um and then a couple of other little things but i'll do a haul once we get out all right so from the dollar tree nothing too exciting this is for a mother's day diy i'm doing and then this i was first of all you know i'm obsessed with rainbows and so are my kids um i just thought this was really cute from the dollar store so this i'm going to make a cricket label that says um clean mask dirty mask for in the car because I always think I have clean masks and the kids will be like oh I want to use this one and I can just be like oh nope that's dirty like today Carter wanted to use one that was covered in Cheetos around the mouth it's not happening so that is what we're going to be doing on there and then this is a DIY I've been wanting to do forever I told you about this in like a vlog in the old house even um, but you just get this little glass jar from Dollar Tree and then this is a garden dish. You glue them together, spray paint, and it makes this cute little dish to like just sit out for a decorative piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. Okay, so literally just like hot gluing this together. Very, very simple, but I know I've talked to you guys in the past about this, but like DIYs are like my favorite thing to do. And it's one of the things I just like don't make time for anymore and even something as simple as this I think that's why I love like the birthday party preps and everything so much and I should probably get a new glue gun I've had this for a hundred years and it's barely functioning so definitely should get a new glue gun but it doesn't have to be perfect we just want it to stick to the container that goes up top the little bowl let that dry and then we're gonna spray paint it all right so in the garage don't mind the garage is not even remotely done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this bad boy. This is what I have. This is the spray paint I got. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. It is like a textured spray paint, so. Let's see how that looks, it'll dry, we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. All right, now for coat number two. A funny story is, is that it blew away in the wind when I had the garage open, came apart, I had to re-glue it, and now we have like some rock and dirt on it. So, hey, just give it some extra personality, right? go ahead and let that dry hopefully it turns out halfway decent because right now it just looks pretty bad all right you guys we are on day two um the first day my niece came over and my mother-in-law so i wanted to spend time with them and then it was a mommy and me uh dance class at ella's dancing school i'll put a little clip right here but I just had uh, Costco delivered and there's Chris's head. So I figured I'd show a little haul real quick, but look at my baby eating. Proud dad, she's eating chicken for the first time. You like it, <laughs> huh? We're doing like a little bit of baby led weaning. She started eating a little bit last week, but she is thoroughly 
enjoying herself. Huh. <laughs> I think that's her favorite one so far. She hasn't put it down yet. Okay, so for the haul, we got some eggs. I've never had these before, but they are egg wraps. Um, so I thought this would be a nice option because they're gluten-free. Just do wraps on there. Also, first time trying this salsa, but I heard good things about it. I love getting the seeds of change, uh, quinoa and brown rice mixture. It's just easy. I'll show you. I'll show you in a second, but this is like a great side for an easy dinner. Rotisserie chicken, avocado mash. Both Ella and I love this. Carrots. Everybody in the house likes carrots. It's my first time getting these, but I really just feel like I need a little boost. I got, so this one is turmeric and probiotic, and this one is cucumber, celery, grapefruit, green chard, and lettuce. The kids have been liking these like little cucumbers. I like them as well with the hummus and peppers. You can't go to Costco without getting these apples. They're so good. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, tomatoes. And then I love, you know, I love this brand. Um, so this is their chicken sausages and then their chicken meatballs. They have like a little bit of a kick to them, but they're really good. Um, so having that with like an easy veggie like asparagus or Brussels sprouts, broccoli, spinach, and then that uh, seeds of change just makes like an easy, really healthy dinner. So yeah, that was asparagus, spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. These are um, hemp hearts and they are really good in smoothies. I did learn to keep them in the fridge. Plain Greek yogurt because you can do a lot with it. You can flavor it with its frozen fruit and stuff. And plus, Evie is allowed to have this as a snack as well. Uh, bananas, avocado, and then unfortunately I couldn't find wild shrimp. Um, so I just got the regular shrimp frozen. Some Dove soap. We need it wipes for the kids' school. How you doing, Evs? Um, shredded Mexican cheese. Some juices for the kids' lunchbox. And then we just have some milk. And then these are all the paper products. Tissues, paper towels, and toilet paper. What are you gonna have next? I also sometimes will just like put a little bit on this spoon and then hand her the spoon. Get it? And she'll eat it that way. Mmm. So far, she loves avocado and banana, oatmeal, and now today, chicken. <laughs> so before we get into like doing anything else, I'm gonna put all this away and make a coffee. Just kidding. <laughs> So I forgot to show you these from the frozen stuff I got. So these look yummy for the kids. And then Chris is obsessed with these. And then booties is what the gluten-free bread that Costco sells.
Okay, so I am happy that we have everything ready for the week. You saw I had my little used by stickers on the back of my hemp seeds, but they do have to be stored in the fridge and they are for smoothies. Um, so yeah, it's about two tablespoons in a smoothie. And you can also put them on top of smoothie bowls and they're just really good for you. And then also I do have an outside refrigerator. So that is where I store like my extra stuff. Like I have all my big things of greens out there um, and my extra eggs. So yeah, really happy with that. So I just prepped um, six bananas that were going bad, some apples that were going bad. So we have six uh, smashed bananas. I'm just gonna put those in here. Four eggs, five tablespoons of melted butter, random amount of apples that we're gonna be going bad. Gonna stir that up. Okay, so Elle just woke up from her nap. She's gonna help us. Ugh. And be careful, okay? Okay, hey, my so, what we're doing is we mix all the wet stuff and now we gotta add our dry ingredients. Okay, so we need three cups of flour and we use gluten-free flour, right? Yeah, over here and then turn it. One. Okay. You got it, it's kinda heavy. Well, you wanna use two hands? Okay, and then make sure it goes in here. Good job. Tanner, you want to put one in? Tanner, do you want to put one in? Yes. All right, let Tanner do this one, sis. Now Tanner's adding the third cup. Good job. All right, now we just need one cup of coconut sugar. And you, and you can use brown sugar, too. You want to put in the half teaspoon of baking soda? You can do that, and Ella will do the um, sugar. Right here, baby. Let's put it right into this white bowl. Good job. Okay. One cup of coconut sugar. If we shake it like this, it looks like an egg. Okay, that's my breast pump I'm playing with. Thank you, baby. And cinnamon. No, we my, like cinnamon, right? No, can I get so guess what? That's it. Let's stir it. Oh, watch out. Just a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Love in their muffins. Chocolate chips. Oh, did it or didn't forget? Can you hold this for mommy? Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Here, you guys can eat some of these. It is much later, but it's spending time with the kids, and then I wasn't feeling good, but now I'm all good. Um, the muffins came out delicious. There's just flowers hanging out with the shallots and garlic next to the breast pump. Now I'm actually working on 
cricketing those things before I get ready for bed. I finally figured out how to download free fonts, which literally I've had a cricket forever and had no idea how to do that. Um, another thing I don't know how to do is connect like letters. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. All right, let's hope that this comes out halfway decent. Still learning with the cricket, I feel like. I love how these came out. I just got these glasses from TJ Maxx and I know it's super simple, but it's nice because you know, you find cups that say like grandmom and stuff, but not like what we call them. We call them mom mom and Chris's mom BB. So I think this will be really cute and I love these glass mugs. These also came out really cute for the clean and dirty mask. So what I was talking about earlier was that I could not space this to go together. So I had to like cut just the um, DI and then RT together and the Y together but I couldn't get it to print together in one word I don't know if that makes any sense but it looks good and then also I save up my Cricut task for like when I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff at once just cuz it's already out and on the um, you know I have the vinyl ready and all that so I don't know if I'm the only one who does that but I've been waiting to make labels for our laundry baskets. I don't think I showed you guys yet, but I'm trying a new laundry system. Um, and I'll show you that now, and then I'm gonna end this video. Okay, so I got these stackable laundry baskets from the container store. So you can see, you kind of just like put it in here so you can stack on top of it. Um, and then it looks like Chris decided to put all of them in these giant ones, which is really fun. Just kidding. so happy with how these came out also can we note that rookie has been with me like by my side all day today i think he knows i don't feel good but so cute all right so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i hope you have an amazing weekend and i will see you the next tuesday Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing Get It All Done. I feel like it's been a minute. I'm still defrosting from bringing Carter to the bus stop, finishing up my coffee. It's 8.45 in the morning so like I'm not really awake yet but I wanted to start off with a quick little grocery haul. I just had uh, groceries delivered that I like I ordered in the middle of the night last night because I realized that we needed stuff. So hopefully I got everything that we needed. So I'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna just like sit down and write out everything we need to do. I also wanna thank Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. I'll have more about that later, but let's get into our grocery haul and just go on from there. Check it off one thing at a time. My goal is to get as much done 
today. It's Monday when I'm recording this because this Saturday is Tanner's birthday party and Sunday is his actual birthday. So this weekend is all about my tan man and I just want to get all my work done um, today. Like all the little things around the house that I want to do before his party. There will also be a party prep video. His birthday party is on the 29th and his birthday is on the 30th. So I'm just hoping that I'll be able to edit everything and have it up by February 1st for his party prep video. He's having a Roblox themed birthday party so um, I think I did pretty good with everything that I got, we'll see. But here's our grocery haul. All right, so we have some kale here for smoothies. I am back doing Jessica's buyer's plan. However, I'm still just like doing whatever family dinner we have because that's what works best for me um, so that we can all still have a family dinner together. So we have kale. They were actually out of spinach. You guys know grocery stores these days. That's why I, I ordered online. Um, this was a Whole Foods order because I couldn't find anything in my regular grocery store. They were out of so much. Um, so we have cauliflower, that's actually for a soup, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, mango, sweet potato. Um, I have been loving making my own gluten-free bread, but we still um, will get this one as well. Uh, pineapple, kiwi, I don't know if I said that yet. I only got two because I already had some. Lemons for the lemon ginger tonic, which I'll probably be making here in a little bit. Um, some Sony Field, these are like those little um, yogurt pouches. Apples, this is probably like one of my favorite snacks to have is an apple, especially if I'm creating something sweet, I'll have like an apple with some peanut butter. We have eggs, coconut milk. So this is actually in a lot of my meal plan this week. I'm not sure why Jessica will have to tell you, but we put this in smoothies. She also has it in a soup. This is my first time purchasing this. This is also in one of her recipes, coconut manna, coconut butter. I've never had this before. Diced tomatoes, honey. I use a half a cup of honey in my bread, so we go through it pretty quickly. Coconut shreds, flaxseed. Kids love this. They also really love this. Tanner is waiting patiently for me to be done this haul so he can get into the snacks. What are you gonna eat first, buddy? Seaweed? We'll I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, avocados, we all, we all love this, besides Chris and Tanner, so we go through avocados fast. This is a favorite snack. This is new, I've never tried these, but I love this brand of Feel Good Foods. They're wild berry pancake bites, and I also got like a regular buttermilk pancake bite, so I thought that might be good for a school morning when we're rushing around here. Nuggets, staple. These are all for smoothies. Mango, pineapple, raspberries. They only have one bag left of raspberries. This is my jam right here. If I could just veg out and watch like Real Housewives and eat these vegetable egg rolls with duck sauce, my life is complete. The kids really like these corn dogs. This is also a staple. If you guys don't have butter noodles in your house, I don't even know if you have kids. <laughs> These are farm shapes, this is exciting for them. These nut thins, this is for me to have with hummus, which I see, I guess they didn't have hummus. I ordered red pepper hummus, I guess they didn't have it. It's kind of sad. Um, so then I also have this pasta. If you're gluten free, oh my gosh, you have to try it. It's fresh pasta. I think I might do a pasta dish tonight. Um, I'll talk about my meal plan later as well. And then we also have these dinner rolls. These are good, they're, they're, you definitely gotta warm them up. I made my homemade croissants last week and they were like amazing. Weren't they so good, Tanner, the homemade croissants? Yeah. They are super yummy. Um, so this is seaweed. Carter saw one of his friends at school have this. I've eaten this in the past and it's like okay, you know, it's, like, it's not like my favorite thing, like can't wait to eat my seaweed. So I got it for him to try and I was shocked that he actually liked it. So did Tanner, right? So did Ella. I was really surprised. You want some of this right now? What do you want first? I want to have the seaweed when you're done your video. Oh, you're so sweet, honey. Um, these bread and butter pickles. Me and Tanner both love these, especially if I'm having a turkey burger. I love to have this on top. You love pickles, right? Wait, can I see? Yeah, they're called bread and butter pickles. They're the sweet. Remember the vegetable egg rolls? They're super yummy, right? Love them. No, the dumplings are what you like by that same brand, is that what you're talking about? They love the chicken dumplings by that brand if you have good foods. And, um, and, I like that. and Tanner wants to say that he likes the veggie egg rolls too, huh? They're so yummy. This is Carter and Everly's favorite. They love this mac and cheese. Um, so Carter actually wants me to start making this for him for his lunches. We got like a little hot container for his lunch. And then gluten-free pancake mix. We usually get Bisquick, but they didn't have that. Syrup, you know, this is also part of the meal plan. I'll tell you about that later this pirate booty, and then these little popcorns. These are just good for lunchbox. I'm gonna put all this away and then I'll get back to you. 
Okay, Bubba. Jeez. What? That's a lot of seaweed. <laughs> Right, update it is 9 46 a.m we put away the groceries and like i said i wasn't awake yet and i realized like i literally didn't get any meat wait what else didn't i get and i'm missing like a lot of my orders so luckily customer service was really good and they're going to deliver it but that took like that was like an unexpected chunk of time that i did not think i was going to need um honestly it's just better to go grocery shopping i, I know it sounds like first world problems because it is but i just you know at night, like when you're like going through the million things that you have to do for the week, it's nice to just order your groceries, but there's not a lot of times that I actually get what I need. So anyway, moving on, I'm going to get my workout in because um, I just really just feel like I need it today. I feel really anxious today. I have PMDD and um, I just want to say that in case anybody else out here has that, working out really helps me. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you, I'm just going to write down everything else that we have to do today, but I just want to get those things and put the groceries away, get the workout in because if I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. And I'm just going to do like a quick 20 minute workout. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious. Idiots thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass, but I'm not gonna wake up. I'm not gonna wait no, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm Okay guys, <laughs> this is how my brain works I came upstairs to brush my teeth and I took like my supplements and everything and I want to run out quickly to get a couple of things for the guest room since we're going to be doing that today um, to a store that's not too far away but Carter has a half day today so I'm kind of in a rush but while I'm in here I'm like oh gosh I forgot I wanted to wash all of our linens today so I'm going to go ahead and just start with stripping my bed because this comforter I love it so much it's amazing but I hang it to dry and it takes a little bit so I'm going to throw this in especially because I used sunless tanner last night we definitely need to wash this.
So we are at Tuesday morning. I'm gonna see if I can find some stuff for the guest room. We don't need a ton, but some pretty key items like a rug and curtains. So we'll see, because this is another one of those places that's hit or miss, you never know what they're gonna have. So we're gonna do that. I did put the clothes in the washer. Um, like I said, today I just have like a lot jam packed into one day because I want the rest of the week to be dedicated to like birthday DIYs and things that I'm doing for Tanner's party. But let's go into Tuesday morning and see what we can find. I also finished my smoothie. Also, don't mind my nails. I tried to do them myself. I'm really tired of going to the nail salon because I just, I hate getting my nails done. I know it sounds terrible, but I feel like I'm going to have to go back and get my nails done because clearly I cannot do them myself. This one already peeled off, so. So here is the basement guest room. Um, it's not super big. You do want to get a TV right there. Um, but we're just going to try to make this a little more homey feeling. We do still have a guest room upstairs. That will probably eventually be a kid's room when they want to split their rooms. Same, like this could always be a kid's room. But for now, it's a guest room. So We did have some good luck at Tuesday morning. So hopefully everything just all comes together. So Chris is going to clean all of this out. It's just some random stuff from having it done. You know. Dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're the best. The next thing we're doing is hanging up this photo, this little, like, feather photo. We've had this for a very long time. I remember, I think it was after I had Carter we purchased it, but... It's just been in our house for so long and it means a lot to us because we've had it for so long and it was like one of our first more expensive um, purchases for us as a married couple. So it definitely means a lot. Living in a sequence, trying not to see it. Need some bliss in the turbulence. I'm praying on the weekdays, drowning in the weekends. All the shallow, shallow friends are mine. I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine. Oh, credit cards hit by my time. You know I never listen. It's not too late for you. Might be made of gold Dizzy on the Sunday Knocked out on the Mondays All the shallow, shallow friends are mine I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine No credit cards to buy my time You know I never listen It's not too late for you
I'm obsessed with how the guest room came out. You know, it's just like random pieces. A lot of things I had already had too. Um, like, I think that the bookshelf door is just gonna be like a work in progress. Obviously, I just put like some frames that I found today. Um, I'll put like either quotes in them or photos. But I wanted to show you the other really random things that I found that I really like. It's like a big serving fork and spoon. I love the color and all of that. And then this we need for our extra sauce for marry me chicken. I literally didn't have a like little gravy bowl before. And then this, I know you guys can tell me I need this for a while, but banana hanger. Unfortunately, all of my bananas are frozen. Um, so I don't have any fresh bananas currently, but I have to grab some for my banana hanger. So yeah, those are my random finds. So let's go on to our next task. Alright, so here's our list today. Does anybody else write down what they already did just because it makes you feel better with life? I do. Here we go. Oh, look at that. So successful. Oh my gosh, I'm just really getting it all done. Four forty one. I'm making the easiest dinner ever. We're just doing some ground turkey with uh, vodka sauce. This pasta it only takes three minutes to cook because it's fresh. Salad. We have regular dinner rolls, and I'm gonna make some uh, garlic bread because my kids can put down some garlic bread with their pasta. So I'm gonna get started on that. Four forty two. See how long this takes. Trying to just like get the butter soft a little bit, but sometimes we win some, sometimes we lose them. You know?
Okay, it is 525, dinner is ready. We had a couple of hiccups. Poor kids, no joke, y'all. We're gonna go eat now. Yeah. Dinner was delicious. Now the next thing I'm doing is making the kids' beds. I don't know if this seems like a lot to you guys, um, but I'm exhausted. I feel like I had a pretty busy day today and I'm just beat. Um, but I'm glad that they have their fresh blankets and then I'll do Ella's bed and Everly's crib sheets tomorrow because I didn't do it because Evie was napping when I was stripping these beds and forgot about it until this very moment. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. guys so I just got the kids to bed and you might have remembered this from my last video that was like the basement clean and decorate um, I got these coffee syrups and we just got these um, from Amazon to go in them and then these which I one I thought they were glass because they were $35 they're really pretty I mean but $35 for two plastic bottles I'm not sure about that um, but they came with the stickers which I also thought were on them they're cute though might be good but they're not glass so that the kids don't break them. They're like a nice sturdy plastic, like you can see I can't even bend it. But still, I should have read the um, description, but I'm gonna do that now. But you never loved someone. But you never loved somebody like I just did. But you always hurt the ones. Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with. You don't know nothing, 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 nothing. You don't know what it feels like. Okay, so the last time when I showed you guys this area, I said, you know, I was thinking about getting those, like, I saw um, on Instagram and a couple of other places, like the plain bottles that kind of like the hand soap and dish soap bottles for the coffee syrups. 
and now I'm like trying to like just it probably would have looked nicer if I got like uniform bottles I was just getting like kind of sick of that look I don't know tell me below like do you think I should get the bottles they kind of look like this one like the same concept with like that square label for the coffee syrups or just leave it like this I'm really torn I've also noticed like I'm always like after I decorate the next day I like it better not that this is decorating but saying like there is a chance that I'll like it tomorrow and first to work again to hang the yoga mat holder that looks good I think okay want me to get one to hang what? test it out yeah now my nails are really thriving watching Chris put up the yoga mat thing I just sat here and feel them all so put that on my list because I volunteered at the kids school tomorrow to do like this little supermarket that they're having so I think they'll be embarrassed by this all right I'm gonna put all these up I love how that came out I just love like everything having its own place also they came and finished today so they put on these handles which I just absolutely love and then hi babe hey. they put up the last the last panel of mirror I don't know they're definitely playing it sounds like it sounds like crazy upstairs all right I can't wait to get in the shower I've earned it all right you guys it is 9:50. I'm bathed I feel so much better I also painted my nails just they're like a I'm not even gonna show up on camera. It's just like a very neutral color. Um, I figured that would probably be better while they're so tiny and short like this because the acrylics just ruined my nails completely. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go edit and just get tomorrow's video ready since tomorrow's Tuesday when I upload. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this gave you the motivation to get it all done. Just get whatever you need done. <laughs> I cramped a lot into this day just because I want to have the rest of the week just doing things for Tanner's birthday party. So keep that in mind. Whatever you can do, done is better than perfect. Give yourself grace. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Awesome. All right, so if you stuck around that long, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know if you actually made it through that entire video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week ahead, and I will see you on Tuesday for a extreme meal prep video.